Hello friends, how are you? Welcome to Mexico. Let me know in the comments what country you want to learn amazing facts about the next time. It's entirely up to you. The country that happens to repeat the most will be broadcast. Do your thing below. If you like this content, why don't you subscribe to the channel? It's completely free and you'll get a minimum of two videos every week. And if you hit the bell, it will notify you about them. 50 Amazing Facts About Mexico That Will Make Your Hat Fall Off Everyone knows this country by the name of Mexico but that is not correct. It is actually the United Mexican States or Estados Unidos Mexicanos, in Spanish. My Spanish is really bad. Anyway, they have 31 states and it is somehow enshrined that Mexico is a Latin American country, but actually that is not quite right either. Mexico is located entirely in North America. However, since people there speak Spanish very often, they are associated with Latin American countries. Its territory is 2 million square kilometers and its population is 126 million people. This means that Mexico is on position number 10 in this world indicator. This makes it the largest Spanish-speaking country on the entire planet and the second largest Catholic country in the world. Very rarely do we think about how serious this actually sounds. The capital, Mexico City, consistently ranks in the top three of the largest cities in the world, with its population of 20 million. The city sits at an average altitude of 2,200 meters but sinks by about 15 centimeters every year, due to unstable soils. It was built on the Aztec capital, and this automatically makes it the oldest city in North America. Inhabitants of Mexico City apparently love to avail taxi services, because this city holds the record for the most number of taxis. Now watch out! On average about 100,000 taxis cross its streets every God's day and just for comparison, a city like New York has only 15,000 taxis, and it's famous with them. Mexico City has women-only buses and subway cars. The government does this because of lechers. Did you know the state of Texas was actually Mexican territory until 1836? Then for eight whole years it was independent and known as the Republic of Texas but was eventually annexed to the U.S. The American company hired to build the wall between Mexico and the U.S. to stop illegal immigrants was fined $5 million. Do you know why? Because it was the labor of illegal immigrants from Mexico that was used to build it. In fact, quite a few Americans emigrate to Mexico for one reason or another and form the largest minority there. It is estimated that about 2 million Americans currently live in their southern neighbor. The border between Mexico and the U.S. is actually the busiest border in the entire world. On average, around 400 million people cross it every year. There are currently as many as 42 active volcanoes in Mexico, the most dangerous of which is Popocatépetl, the fire-breathing mountain. It is located only 70 kilometers from the capital Mexico City and is the second highest point in the state with its 5,426 meters. Mexico is also home to the world's smallest volcano. Its name is Quexcomate. Actually, it's more of a marketing gimmick because it represents a long-gone geyser with a height of about 15 meters. So far there are as many as 30,000 archaeological sites in Mexico. The following food products, we are painfully familiar with today, come from Mexico tomatoes, corn, avocados, and of course, chili peppers. Mexico is the second fastest in gaining weight nation and I can confirm this. Indeed, many people are too big. Who is first in that category? You can write your guess in the comments. Those who get it right win a heart. Actually, contributing to obesity, is the fact that Mexicans are the biggest consumers of Pepsi and Coca-Cola in the entire world. Adults there drink an average of 169 liters of carbonated beverages per person each year. The Caesar salad that we know well is not Italian nor is it named after the great Roman emperor. In fact, it's named after Caesar Cardini, who is a common cook in Tijuana. Children in Mexico do not receive their Christmas presents on 24 or the 25th of December, as we are used to. 
They have to wait until the 6th of January when, according to the Bible, the three wise men visit the baby Jesus with gifts. That is, when baby Jesus receives his gifts then the Mexican children also receive their gifts. One of the most revered holidays, however, is the Day of the Dead or Dia de los Muertos. Its celebration begins on October 31 culminating on November 2nd. There is an animation film called Coco that I highly recommend you to watch to understand what this day represents to them. I warn you though, it's a bit sad. The Aztecs, one of the predecessors of the Mexicans were known for their brutal sacrifices. Between 80 and 250,000 people were sacrificed to the gods each year. Archaeologists recently discovered entire halls of bones and human remains the largest of which contained 130,000 skulls. Just in one hall. According to some calculations, each year they sacrificed about 1% of their population. They performed these cruel rituals in honor of their god, the sun by dumping the bodies from high pyramids and temples some of which are located in Chichen Itza. Did you know that the Maya, one of the most mysterious civilizations in the world had a great military tactic? They catapulted nests of hornets at the enemy army. This, as you can imagine, ensured a pretty big advantage. Jaguars are among the largest predators on Mexican jungles. We were warned that their population is still quite large, and if we stray from the hiking trails, we should be very careful. Dear friends we have reached the middle. If you've liked everything so far, and find it interesting give a thumbs up and support. Let's keep going though, because there's some pretty interesting stuff coming up next. Color television was invented in Mexico by Guillermo Camarena who made this discovery at the age of just 17, during the World War II. It is believed that the asteroid that hit the Earth and destroyed the dinosaurs, landed in Mexico some 66 million years ago. The name of the crater is Chicxulub, and it has a diameter of 150 kilometers. It is located on the Yucatan Peninsula. The Pyramid of Kukulkan in Chichen Itza is one of the new seven wonders of the world. Every year, about 2 million people pay it a visit, just to catch a glimpse of it. Did you know though that it is like a kind of Matryoshka doll, built on top of another smaller pyramid, which in turn is built on top of an even more ancient temple. The famous cenotes, these holes in the jungle filled with water were sacred to the Mayans as they believed that the souls of the dead passed from there to continue their lives. To swim in them is purifying, and the feeling is truly unique. The deepest cenote is the Zacaton. It is 300 meters deep which is more or less the height of the Eiffel Tower. Yet, parts of its underwater cave system have not been studied at all. Mexico's constitution has nine subparagraphs explaining how to properly play their anthem. If you purposely mess it up, or heaven forbid make fun of it you'll have to write an apology to the state, in addition to the fine. When Hernán Cortés docks in Mexico, the Aztecs welcome him literally as a white god, and immediately give him hot chocolate. To them, this is a drink worthy only of the gods. Did you know that the Spaniards conquered territories more with the smallpox epidemic? They brought from Europe than with battles. Of course, the Europeans already had immunity to it, but the natives did not. Thus this disease killed more than 5 million people in Central America, and it is believed that they are much more. The Aztecs actually believed that smallpox was a curse from their gods, because they were weaker and lost the battle with the Christian god. So they readily accepted Catholicism and the new god. However, the story of Mexico does not begin in 1519 with the invasion of the Spanish. Remains of ancient cultures of age 8,000 years have been discovered. The first better known civilizations were the Olmecs, the Toltecs, then came the Maya. Alongside Mesopotamia and Egypt, Mexico is considered one of the cradles of civilization. They are the richest in cultural heritage of all the American states. As I have said many times, the largest pyramid in the world is not the Pyramid of Cheops in Egypt but the Cholula in Mexico. The Chihuahua is the smallest dog breed in the world and it is actually named after the largest state in Mexico. However, the favorite breed there is the Mexican hairless dog and yes, it really has no fur except a little here and there on its head. 
One of the richest men in the world is the Mexican telecommunications tycoon Carlos Slim. As we know Mexico is quite biodiverse, plus the presence of so many volcanoes there developed a special breed of rabbit, the volcano rabbit. Don't worry, it doesn't shoot lava from its mouth but just lives on the slopes of the fire-breathing mountains. It's super cute. There's one pretty serious problem, though. Mexico is the second most deforested country after Brazil. Sad but a fact. Not sure why everyone thinks Mexicans are super lazy. In reality, they have the longest work week of any country in the Americas. Each busy Mexican works an average of 44 hours a week, which is a tight 9-hour workday. For Europe, the average work week is 39.2 h. Do the math yourself. Really, people there work extremely hard. I haven't seen such good hotel service, and I've studied hotel management. Who do you think exports more beer? Germany? Holland? Belgium? No, it's Mexico. They are even twice ahead of the Dutch who are second in that category. No way you haven't had Corona, the beer, not that other stuff. Actually, did you know that the little lime you put in the neck of the bottle of Corona is there to keep the flies away so they don't get into the beer? When you consume it, you are supposed to remove the lime put it back after, something like a cork plug. However, the Americans pushed the lime inside, and this is how they liked it. Do you like your beer with lime? Actually, it's not bad at all and that's how most are served there. However, the national drink is not beer but tequila. It is made from the heart of the plant called Centenarian, and is the successor to Mezcal which is a bit smokier and heavier. By the way, people in Mexico don't drink tequila the way we are used to, with salt and lemon. This is just another American fiction. There, they drink it absolutely plain and cold, in a tall, thin-walled glass with a slice of lime that can be dropped inside. At one time in their history, Mexicans only consumed light alcoholic drinks, like beer and wine instead of water, because it was teeming with all sorts of bacteria and disease. As we know, alcohol kills them, and yes, water is not drinkable there at all. Sombreros or those huge Mexican hats were also made to keep the face and shoulders out of the sun. Sombra, in Spanish means shade. Mexico remains a very dangerous country with many cartels operating and having problems with each other. Sometimes, they hire their own armies which are better equipped than the state one. In fact, there are about five major cartels in Mexico that engage in all the illegal activities described in the penal code. However, their main funding comes from drug exports to the United States. So, hombres, if you've liked the video, give it a thumbs up, if not, a thumbs down. But if you want to make me happy, share it on social media with friends. With just one click you are helping me a lot for which I say, gracias. Subscribe to the channel super easily from up here and click on the bell to notify you when I upload something new. If you happen to have some more free time and you want to learn something new and cool, click on either of these two videos here. Thank you for being with me once again. Adios and see you again.